Good day everyone. I am Salah Khan, a second MBBS student. I am here to present the case that I solved for the competition, Dr. Sherlock, The Science of Deduction. I chose a pathology case and the case details are on the screen. We will discuss it in the coming slides. Our patient is a 32 year old female who came to the clinic with a complaint of a mole on her lower back. The mole is slightly raised, darkly pigmented, irregularly shaped. The female had the particular mole since many years, but it started growing and changing. She didn't notice it any sooner due to its location in a generally hidden area of the body. There is only a single mole. There are no multiple lesions. There is no significant past medical history, drug history, family history, her vitals are normal. An important lab finding is biopsy, which tells us the lesion is an invasive tumor. Now, I have deduced some possible conditions that could be the case. These are respectively seborrheic keratitis, pigmented actinic keratosis, melanocytic nevus, pigmented basal cell carcinoma, Reed's nevus, melanoma. To narrow down a diagnosis is an art of deduction, which will involve ruling out skin conditions less relevant to the signs and symptoms of our patient. Lab tests are a very useful tool and we do have an important lab finding to take into consideration. Now we will look at the characteristic features of the possible conditions and rule them out. Seborrheic keratitis. It is a waxy scaly pigmented lesion which is dark brown. Often multiple growths occur. It is non-cancerous and it has a stuck on appearance. This is an image of the given condition. It, is it, it does resemble our case but has sharp borders and is also non-cancerous. Pigmented actinic keratosis. It is a rough, scaly, dark pigmented patch which is flat to slightly raised. Again, the key here is it is non-cancerous. Here is a picture. Pigmented basal cell carcinoma. It is a histologic variant of basal cell carcinoma. This is, this is pigmented so it is naturally characterized by brown or black color. The, a well-defined plaque like with irregular raised borders is the defining feature of pigmented basal cell carcinoma. It has an opalescent rim, a rim and it rarely metastasizes. Here's a photo. It differs from our case because it has a characteristic opalescent border as evident in the given picture. This is a lesion that has close resemblance to melanoma but is a benign tumor. It also has sharp symmetric borders with characteristic shapes that can be appreciated on dermoscopy. Here is a characteristic starburst appearance observed on dermoscopy. Also, reed nevus are uh, benign. Melanocytic nevus, tan to brown uniformly pigmented small papules with well-defined rounded borders. They are non-invasive or benign. Dysplastic nevi are naturally larger than nevi and they can be multiple. But we rule out this option due to it being non-cancerous. Malignant melanoma. Striking variations and pigmentations from brown, black, red, blue and grey. It has irregular borders. It has asymmetrical appearance and there is evolution of nevus. That is a pre-existing mole changes or starts growing. That is what is meant by evolution of the nevus. Now it is also malignant. That is it is an invasive tumor composed of pigmented cells. Also the diameter is greater than 6 mm. The dysplastic nevus is usually less than 6 mm in diameter. Some features of the lesion are that were suspicious are summarized by the acronym A for asymmetry, B for irregular borders, C for color that is there is some variation in the patch. Some part of the patch is very dark, some part of the patch could be lighter. D is for diameter and E is evolution, change of an existing nevus. 
again a photograph of the lesion we are dealing with after having talked about the possible differential diagnosis and going back to our case i do finally have a most probable diagnosis which is malignant melanoma the most important clinical sign here was a change in the color uh, and the size of the pigmented lesion the lady complained that it was always present but it changed in the course of years and she couldn't notice it sooner because it was in an inaccessible part of the body now that we have successfully applied the art of deduction we now move on to the art of healing that is clinical management the most important prognostic consideration when it comes to malignant melanoma is the depth of invasion there is a term called as breslow thickness the increase in thickness of the melanoma correlates with worse biologic behavior that is the thicker the melanoma is the more difficult it is to treat it if it is very superficial it can be just cured by simple surgical excision now staging is determined by the depth depth of invasion there are four stages of a melanoma as you can see stage 0 stage 1 2 3 and 4 up till stage 2 the disease is localized but it its thickness increases with the corresponding stage stage 3 and 4 are characterized by spread to lymph nodes and other organs respectively now there are five types of standard treatment which are surgery chemotherapy radiation therapy immunotherapy and targeted therapy apart from stage classification of a melanoma we have a common classification here based on its features of growth and its most appropriate treatment this is one of the uh, classification this is superficial spreading melanoma this is most common comprises of 50 to 75% of the cases it initially has a period of ra radial growth that is it is not invading deep into the layers of the skin but it is rather growing radially it extends throughout all the layers of the epidermis surgical excision is curative in this phase of radial growth so the treatment for this type of melanoma would simply be surgical excision then we have lentigo maligna melanoma it comprises of 5 to 15% of cases extensive radial growth phase with nesting limited to basal layer of epidermis that is it does not infiltrate all the layers of the epidermis but it almost never metastasizes so again this can be cured by excision a simple surgical excision is curable in cases where it has not metastasized yet or where it has not spread to the lymph nodes or other organs yet now we have the last uh, common type that is nodular melanoma it lacks a radial growth phase and is infiltrative vertically may not follow the abcd criteria and it is associated with worse prognosis surgical excision is followed by chemotherapy or radiotherapy this is the end of my clinical case presentations thank you for following till the very end regards